Our world is not as it appears. Not the way in which we ordinarily perceive it as normal, crazy people. Our world is not our reality, because my reality is different from your reality. Our individual realities are created from the internal perspective, what's going on in our own heads. Reality itself is quite a different thing, but unfortunately reality is tainted by how we behave ourselves, and how we behave ourselves is created by our own perspective on reality. If we look at the world from the perspective of a quantum physician, we can say quite clearly that my energy affects your energy, in fact subtly affects all energy. If you were to look at it from the perspective of uh, Eastern mysticism, uh, you might say that I am one with the universe, I am an integrated part of the universe and the universe is not without me. Uh, two different sets of language to express more or less the same thing. Let's bring it down to the ordinary of everyday life. How you react to those around you impacts on how they behave, how they react to you, and therefore you are in this energetic dance over which you had better try to exercise some control. As a responsible adult, in fact if you're normal as an irresponsible adult, adult, you are not exercising control because you're allowing your subconscious mind dictate your behaviour automatically. Remember that from an evolutionary perspective we're hardwired not to pay attention to the minutiae of everyday life, we're hardwired to make it through the day, to survive. And therefore, our subconscious mind will run the minutiae of our day on automatic pilot, but it is in the little bits and pieces of our day and how we react to and behave with others that we create our perspective on reality. And unfortunately, this is a vicious circle. If my reality is a little negative, and there's a huge body of research that says most people are predisposed to be negative, let's not get into the detail, but there it is, then I create a slightly negative bias in my behaviour, which impacts on other people who already have a slightly negative bias too, and we all gradually go down the plug hole together. That's not living. I was going to say that. That's not what life is about. It isn't living full stop. To start living, you're going to have to grab a hold of the minute details of how you act, react, respond, behave, how you think about yourself, which is probably the most important things, thing because our reaction is born out of what we think about ourselves. The point I would make to you this morning is you need to stop thinking about yourself. You need indeed to stop thinking at all. You need to come to your five senses. You need to see, feel, hear, smell and taste where you are, who you're with, what they are really saying to you and how you can act and be an active creator of a better place, a better reality as you move through your day moment to moment. That doesn't come naturally, nor does it come easily, but if you put in a little effort, the benefits are enormous. What kind of effort am I talking about? Meditation at the start of the day. Short gaps during the day to mini-meditate, a couple of minutes. Short stops during the day to evaluate how am I feeling? And if I'm not feeling as I should be feeling, I should snap out of it. Short pit stops during the day to do something small differently because it calls my mind to attention. A mind that is inattentive is a time bomb waiting to explode. Don't light the fuse today.